right, we are back. Uh, my next guest, of course, was a cast member on Saturday Night Live and The Larry Sanders Show. Please welcome the very funny Sarah Silverman. Sarah? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> last time, let's see, you know, I was thinking about it today. Last time you were on this show was in 1993, when I was like, I was like 19 years old at the time. That's right. You haven't been here in, in six years. How was your, I haven't really talked to you. It's how, all gone downhill. <laughs> really? Since that first appearance? How is everything going? Is it uh, okay? Yeah, everything's really good. Um, got a nice boyfriend and uh, actually I was, um, I was licking jelly off of him the other day. What? Really? I was licking jelly off of my boyfriend. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm turning into my mother. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's like a, he's like one of those tough guys, you know? Oh, he's a tough guy. Yeah, he's like a tough guy. He's one of those guys who says something like, you know, I'm going to rip you a new one. You know what I mean? Which I don't think is that romantic during sex, but... <laughs> So not a good idea to say that. All right. I don't know. It's well, subjective. is he? Is I mean, is he a nice guy? Is he treating you okay? No. Yeah. 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 He's. He's. I mean, I'm easy. I'm. You know, I'm easy to please. You mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. I don't wear any fancy jewelry or anything. Although. Right. There is this one jewel. I'm gonna sound like such a Jap, but uh, and by Jap I mean Japanese. But um. <laughs> <laughs> there is this one. Jewel, Conan. Uh huh. It's so beautiful. It's, uh, I want it. It's it's really rare. It's only found at the very very tip of the tailbone of Fujian babies. Really? Yeah, they have to actually debone the babies. <laughs> but if you jewel? saw it, mm -hmm. it's so worth it. <laughs> I'm serious. No. Really? Yeah. It's like, it's like if a diamond, but with like that baby smell. <laughs> you know? Wow! I want it. I, I want, want it now. It. No, but I have. I do have. Like I have like a moral issue with it, you know, because they're they're treating the unions that debone the babies really bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to do something about that. Well, you don't. You're not. I mean, I actually know you a little bit. You're not a material person. You just aren't. You're. You're very down to earth that way. I'm all right. I mean, what like what makes you happy? What do you what 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 gives you joy? What makes me happy? What? You know what I love? You know what turns me on? Erogenous zones. I know it's just like a thing, but it's like it's so great because when you think about it, it's like it can be anywhere in your whole body, and it gives you like a sexual sensation mm -hmm. and it can be anywhere and it's different for everybody a different place you know like probably for probably for me my biggest erogenous zone i swear to god my vagina <laughs> <laughs> i'm not seriously i know it's weird <laughs> like if somebody touches me like in or in the area right, of my right. vagina really i get like a sexual <laughs> Which is so great, you know, because I could be on a bus, you know, <laughs> start st stimulating myself, uh -huh. and then uh -huh. it just looks like I'm touching my vagina. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You should see a doctor about this. You know, have you ever heard this? Somebody told me that a sneeze is like a little orgasm. I have heard have that. You, you have? Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, no way, but when you think about it, Conan, it is totally true. Minus the farting. <laughs> you know, you're right again. I'm learning so much. Now, of course, you're doing stand-up all the time, but that's at night. What do you do during the day? What's, paint us the picture. Oh, God, I go to the mall, I go to a strip club. Um, you go to the strip club? I, well. I like strip clubs, and not in that girly, like, I'd like to say that I, I liked strip clubs before it was cool. But uh, I do, I love strippers, I love them. I think they're cool, you know? I mean, the only thing, if there's one thing I don't like about strippers, it'd prob probably be the way their um, butts have that, that metal pole smell. 
but oh my god. Okay. I I always wanted to be a stripper. Uh -huh. I mean, that's like my that You I'm, always wanted to be a stripper? I'm doing comedy to get into stripping, to break <laughs> right. into stripping. Right. I mean, I've wanted to be a stripper for so long, ever since I was molested. <laughs> If we can be here to laugh at you being molested. Well, yeah, yuck it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, you were molested. All right. That just kills me. Now, you live in Los Angeles. I used to live there. We must know some people in common. Who are you hanging out with in LA? Who are your friends? I'm pretty popular. Mm -hmm. um, I've got sure. a lot of friends. I'm so, you know, well, I'm so mad at my Chinese friend. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, he, he went pee pee in my Coke. <laughs> and uh, he's like, oh, me Chinese, me play joke. I'm like, if you have to explain it, it's not funny. <laughs> Guess whose birthday's coming up, Conan? Whose birthday's coming up? Hitler. <laughs> Bring it on. Hitler's I always birthday. know. I always know when it's Hitler's birthday because they say it on Entertainment Tonight. It's my favorite show. Oh, right, really? Yeah, right before they go to commercial, they uh, they have that silhouette, you know, and uh -huh. they go, they ask a question, you know, this man is responsible for the deaths of six million Jews. Is it Patrick Duffy? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wrap it up. No, Sarah, that was uh, that was more than fine. Uh, Sarah Silverman, thank you very much for thank stopping you. by and sharing your life with us. That was great. Really? Sarah Silverman, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. That was